I just wanted to show a close-up of everything. Here's one of the L's, and here's one of the presents, a couple of presents, and here's the beautiful card that you can put into the back of the presents, and here you can see how it can slip right into the back side of the present. And the turkey decided to join in. Give a close-up of my turkey. And here is one of the L's. And you can see how you can have fun with the legs and the arms. Just shape them however you want. And then here is one of the Santas. And here's another style of the Santa with the little snowflake at the top. And then here you have Mrs. Santa. And she's at the top. She's a kitchen towel topper. And here's the, the Santa towel that's hanging down. And then Rudolph also decided to join the party. And that is the fun that you can have with your hot pads or pot holders. You're going to need three crochet hooks for this project. You're going to need your G or 4 millimeter crochet hook, an N or 9 millimeter crochet hook, and your J or 6 millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a large tapestry needle to bury your loose yarn ends, and depending on how small your buttons are, you can use your tapestry needle with a small eye and a yarn threader or you can just use your needle, sewing needle and some thread. The yarn that I'm using is by Lily Sugar and Cream. It's 100% cotton. This color is cream and I'm using red. I'm using hot green I'm using rose pink. I'm also using hot pink. Four ounces, 113 grams. You're going to need some jingle bells for the hat. And I have, I used my bells by Creatology. For the elf eyes, I used 12 millimeter safety eyes. And they're just the regular black colored eyes with the safety latch. For the pink for the cheeks, I used the favorite finding buttons. They come with a pack of um, buttons, and I just use the pink ones. They have a really pretty pastel pink button for the cheeks. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you how to make the nose, but I'm going to try this for one of my pot holders. I'm going to show you what it looks like with this button, and these are from my buttons. And for the female elf, I'm going to use these flower, pink flower buttons for her cheeks. I have these buttons left over. So these are optional, but I'm going to make one of mine with the little snowflake on their hat. And this is a button. I also have sew. these leftover snowflake buttons from Favorite Findings that I'm going to use on one of the hats, but these are optional as well. You can use whatever buttons that you want for decorating your hat. These are just some of the buttons that I'm using on mine. These are some leaves from Flower Garden. This is crafting with buttons, these really shiny flowers, red flowers. And then I have my favorite findings, snowflakes. These are buttons. For my sun, um, Santa's eyes, I use Sun Catcher Craft Eyes, the 9 millimeter size. And these are really pretty. They have a little blue surrounding them. They also have a safety latch for the back. For the male's, male elf's hair, I used gold colored yarn for my Red Heart Super Saver. I used cherry red for the hat, and it's from Red Heart Super Saver. For the Santa's hat, I used soft white for my Red Heart Super Saver. I used a soft black yarn for the eyelashes for the female I elf. I used the color carrot for the female elf's hair, and that's from Red Heart Super Saver. For the hat, I used soft white. Red Heart Super Saver yarn. And I used Karen Simply Soft, and this color is watermelon. It's actually a hot pink colored yarn. 
for the female, and then I used a light pink for the male. I used soft pink from Karen Simply Soft. To make the head, we're going to start with the cream colored 100% cotton yarn, and we're going to make a magic circle. So just drape the yarn across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, then wrap it around your two middle fingers twice, and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And I'm using my J or six millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to go under the two loops of the magic circle. You're going to grab yarn over and bring up a loop. Then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Now you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. So just go into the magic circle, bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through both for a single crochet. And we're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. Then you're going to take your forefinger and your thumb and you're going to hold the base of the six single crochet that you just made. And then you're going to see these two loops on the opposite side. You're going to pull on one. If it doesn't close, just let go and pull on the other one, but this one is closing, so just gently close the magic circle. Don't worry if it doesn't close all the way. We can always close it more later. Take the loose yarn in and pull on that. Then we're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around the magic circle. So you're going to go into your first stitch, you're going to bring up a loop, you have two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet, and then you're going to make one more single crochet into the same stitch, and you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 and then come back. Then just turn your work over and pull on that loose yarn end and then that closes up the center of the magic circle. Then you're going to take a yarn marker and place it right where you left off and in my case I'm just using one of my scrap pieces of yarn. And now we're going to do increase rounds. So you're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. After you finish that round, move your yarn marker up. For the next round, we're going to do another increase round. You're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, and then two single crochet into the third stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. We have two more increase rounds left. We're going to move the yarn marker up. Now you're going to do one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. For our last increase round you're going to do one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around. Your work should look like this. Now you can go ahead and we're going to do a slip stitch. So you're going to take your crochet hook, go into that next stitch over, then yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And 
and you're going to need two of these. The first thing you want to do is place the eyes. This is how I placed my eyes for the female and the male elf. Once you have the eyes placed where you want them, take the safety latch and you're just going to place the safety latch on the back and that will secure the eyes. This is what the male's elf face looks like and now I'm going to make the female's face so you can see where I placed the eyes on the male and the hat and his hair and eyebrows and the buttons for the cheek and he has a little smile right here so the smile is about here's the bottom row and it has one more row here and then the smile is on top of that second row if you want you can use a button for the elf nose or I'm going to show you how to make one with the yarn just take your yarn color that you're using for the nose and we're going to drape it across your four fingers for the magic circle use your thumb to stabilize and then wrap it around the two middle fingers twice and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb then use your G or four millimeter crochet hook. Go under those two loops. You're going to bring up a loop. And then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to make three single crochet into the magic circle. Then you're going to take your forefinger and your thumb and you're going to hold it at the base of those three single crochet. And then you have those two loops on the opposite side of the magic circle. You're going to pull on one of them loosely. If it doesn't pull or close, then let go and pull on the other one. But this one's closing it, so gently close it. Then take the loose yarn in and gently close that. Then you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to go into that first stitch. So take your crochet hook and go into that first stitch going under both loops. Then you're going to yarn over for a slip stitch. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through both loops for a slip stitch. Then you're going to finish off. Yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to sew the nose onto the elf. and you have your little nose. Take your nose and center it onto the face right between the eyes and then just sew it on and it's not it's a little bit lower than the eyes and then I just make sure that it's sewn on then tie a knot on the back then just sew on your cheek buttons this is where I placed my cheek buttons and I'm using the flower for the female and here is what the male looks like then you're just gonna make her smile and this is how I made the smile on mine with the watermelon colored or hot pink colored. You can use whatever color you want for the hair. For my female elf I'm going to use the carrot colored Red Heart Super Saver on my tapestry needle and I'm going to make her eyelashes first. So I'm just going to go through the back side with my tapestry needle and make sure you leave enough yarn on the back for tying a knot. Then I'm just going to go one stitch up just a little tiny eyebrow and I'm going to go ahead and turn it over and tie your knot
Then you could take your tapestry needle and go to the other side. You want to make sure that your eyebrows are even. And you make it the same way. Then you have the two pretty eyebrows. Then we're going to make her hair. You're going to decorate her hair. So you're going to come up through the top. And then go down, about a row down. Then come up a stitch over. And go back down where you went in the first time. Then you're going to come right in between at the top. And then just go down again right at the point. And do one more time to fill it in. Then I'm going to come in through the center. And that's how you make the hair. Then I'm going to make one more shorter one on this side. Then you could tie a knot on the back and then trim your loose yarn ends. This is what her hair looks like and this is what his hair looks like, just so you can see the difference. Once you've finished the face, you're going to take all of your, you're going to take the back side and make sure that your loose yarn ends are all on the wrong side and the right sides are facing out. Then we're going to sew the two pieces together. That way all your loose yarn ends will be buried. So you can tuck all the loose yarn ends into the inside. Line up the back with the front. Then you're going to take your tapestry needle, the 100% cotton cream colored, the same color as your head, and you're just going to sew the two pieces together. After you've sewn the two pieces together, you can see how I'm sewing my the top stitches only, sewing the front to the back all the way around, then come back. If you want eyelashes, I just took my black yarn on my tapestry needle and I just went through the front only, don't go through the back. You're going to come out right by the eye. Make sure you leave enough for burying your loose yarn in, then go back where you came in. Just like that. Then you're going to go straight and 
Then just take your yarn and go back out where you came in. Tie a knot. And then you're going to bury your loose yarn ends. You want to go back in right where you tied your knot. And then go right through the top. And do the same thing with the other one. And it's okay if you have a little bit of the black showing through here because we're going to put the hat up there. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. Now I just want to show you the difference between the elf, the female elf's face, and the Mrs. Claus face. So I used 100% cotton for her eyebrows, the white, and also the white for her hair. It's made the same way. And then I also used the button nose so you can see what the button nose looks like. To make the hat, you're going to start with your cherry red yarn. And I'm using acrylic for my hat, but you could use cotton if that's what you want. And what you're going to start with is the magic circle. So just take your yarn, drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, then wrap it around your two fingers, middle fingers, and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. I'm starting with my J crochet hook, or six millimeter crochet hook. Go under those two loops around the middle fingers, bring up a loop, then yarn over and go through that loop for your slip knot. Now you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. Then to close the magic circle, take your forefinger and thumb and hold it at the base. Then you have the two loops on the other side of the magic circle. You're going to pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, then let go and pull on the other one. But this one's closing, so close it gently. Then take the loose yarn in and close that. Then you're going to get a yarn marker. I'm just going to use one of my scraps of yarn. Just place it right where you left off. Then you're going to go into the first stitch and make a single crochet. And you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch around for three rounds and then come back. This is how your work should look, and I finished three rounds, one, two, three, of one single crochet into every stitch. This is the right side that I have facing me, and on the inside I've tucked the loose yarn in. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up to where you left off, and we're going to do an increase round. You're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch and then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back then take your yarn marker and move it up we're going to do another increase round you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches
and then two single crochet into the third stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around. Then take your yarn marker and move it up. Now you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch around for three rounds and then come back. After you finish your three rounds of one single crochet into every stitch, you're going to move your yarn marker up again for another increase round. You're going to make one single crochet into the next three stitches, and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch, and repeat that pattern all the way around. Then again, you're going to take your yarn marker up and make only one single crochet into every stitch for three rounds and then come back. This is the last increase round. You're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then two, stitches, two single crochet into the fifth stitch. Then you guessed it one single crochet into every stitch for three more rounds and when you come back I'm going to show you how to join the white color yarn. Then you're going to take your crochet hook go into the next stitch over and we're going to do a slip stitch. You're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to join the white color. I'm using a soft white yarn by Red Heart Super Saver. I'm going to chain one, then I'm going to cut the previous color I was using and tie a knot. Then you're going to make a chain of two, one, two. That's going to count as your first half double crochet. You're going to make one half double crochet into every stitch around. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch. Bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. You're going to make one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around and then come back. When you get back to the beginning, to the beginning chain two, take your crochet hook, go into the top of that first chain two for a slip stitch. You're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. Then you're going to finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to sew the hat onto the head. For the Santa's hat, I'm going to show you how to make the ball that goes to the tip of the hat. You just take your soft white colored yarn or whatever you're using, color you're using for the hat. We're going to start with a magic circle. Drape it across your four fingers. Use your thumb to stabilize. Then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And I'm using my J crochet hook. Just go under the two loops, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. Then you're going to take your forefinger and thumb and hold it at the base of those six single crochet. You have the two loops on the opposite side. Just pull on one of them. And again, if it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one. But this one's closing. Then pull on that loose yarn end. Now you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12. And then come back. Then take your yarn marker, 
If you um, still have a little hole in the center of your magic circle, you can turn it over and just pull on that loose yarn end. That'll close it up for you. Then take your yarn marker, place it right where you left off. Then you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch around for three rounds and then come back. After you finish after you finish three rounds of one single crochet into every stitch, then take your yarn marker and move it up. Then you're going to do decrease stitches all the way around. Just take your crochet hook, go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a decrease stitch. I'm going to do one more with you. You're going to repeat that all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. Then we're going to slip stitch it closed. Just take your crochet hook. You're going to skip a stitch and then you're going to go into the next stitch and then you're going to yarn over and then pull the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And one more should do it. Should close it up. Then you're going to finish off, just yarn over and bring enough yarn through to sew the ball on top of the hat. For your hat, you want to bury your loose yarn in, so just take your tapestry needle and put the loose yarn in onto the end of the tapestry needle. Then you're just going to take and weave it into the inside of the hat. For the Santa hat, I took the ball that we made and put the tapestry needle onto the long end that we left for sewing. Then you're just going to sew the ball onto the tip of the hat. And I just go right through the bottom of the ball of the hat. And then just go right into the tip of the hat until I've sewn it on. Then tie your knot and bury your loose yarn in into the inside of the hat. For the elf's hat, I sewed a little jingle bell onto the tip of the hat. And what I like about these jingle bells is that my tapestry needle, my smaller one, will fit right through the end for sewing. And I use my yarn threader to get the yarn onto the smaller eye of this tapestry needle. You just take your hook on your yarn threader and just put it right through the eye of the tapestry needle. Then you take your yarn and bring the hook back through the eye of the tapestry needle. And the easiest way that I found to get the yarn through the eye of the needle is to jiggle the yarn threader up and down and that just brings it right through. Then you can cut your yarn so it's ready for sewing. I just go right through the tip of the hat and then through the end of the bell. Make sure you leave a long enough loose yarn end that you can bury it into your work. Then you just tie a knot and then I like to go a couple of times. So go ahead and sew your bell onto your hat and then bury your loose yarn ends into the center of the hat and then come back. The other style of hat I'm going to make in red and we're going to start with a magic circle. Just use your thumb to stabilize and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. I'm using my J or six millimeter crochet hook. Go under those two loops, bring up a loop, yarn over, and then go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to go under the mat, those two loops again, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. 
Then you're going to chain two. One, two. That's going to count as your first double crochet. Now we're going to make a total of six double crochet into the magic circle. Just yarn over, go into the magic circle, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. Then you're going to yarn over, go into the magic circle, bring up a loop, make another double crochet, and you're going to make six double crochet into the magic circle. Then you're going to take your forefinger and thumb and hold it at the base of those 12 double crochet. You have the two loops on the opposite side of the magic circle. You're going to pull on one. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one. Then take that loose yarn end and pull on that. Now you're going to do a slip stitch into the top chain of that first chain three that you made. So you're going to yarn over and go through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to turn your work inside out. You can pull on that loose yarn in now if you have a, a hole at the top of the magic circle. For the next round, you're going to chain three. That's going to count as your first double crochet for this round. You're going to make one more double crochet into the same stitch. And you're going to make two double crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12. And then come back. When you're back to the beginning chain three, you're going to take your crochet hook, go into that top chain of that first chain three that you made, and you're going to make a slip stitch. This is what your work looks like so far. You can tuck the loose yarn end into the center. You're going to make a chain three, one, two, three. Then you're going to make another double crochet into the same stitch. And you're going to make two double crochet into every stitch around and then come back. I just finished 24 double crochet for this round. I'm going to make my slip stitch to join the round. Then I'm going to make a chain of three. One, two, three. For this last round with this color, you're going to make one double crochet into every stitch around. And when you come back, I'll show you how to join the white color. I finished that round and I've already slip stitched to join the round. Then I'm going to change colors. I'm going to take and hook my soft white. I'm using soft white. Then I'm going to chain one. Then I'm going to take and cut my previous color, which was red, and tie a knot. Then I'm going to take and switch crochet hooks. I'm going to use a smaller crochet hook. This is my G or four millimeter crochet hook. Then I'm going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. Then I'm going to make a half double crochet into the same stitch. So I'm going to yarn over. Go into the same stitch, 
bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. Then I'm going to make a double crochet in the same stitch. Then I'm going to make a half double crochet in the same stitch. You're making a little shell. Then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch on the hat. So I'm going to go into the next stitch on the hat, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to make your shell into the same stitch. So a half double crochet. A double crochet into the same stitch. Half double crochet. And then a single crochet into the next stitch. A single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to make your shell in the same stitch. So go ahead, repeat this pattern all the way around, back to the beginning, and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. After I reach where I started, I'm going to do a slip stitch into that first stitch where we made the shell. Then I'm going to finish off. Just bring enough yarn through to sew the hat onto the head. For Mrs. Claus, I took and sewed the front part of her hat on first. So I just sewed right along the edge of the shell with the same color as the shell just to the tip of the head only. Then you're going to take the same color, the cream colored 100% cotton yarn and you're going to shape the hat and then sew the back of the hat in place with the cream colored yarn. This is how my hat looks so far. And then on the back, you could see how I sewed along the bottom edge and it still flaps up. Let me hide that loose yarn end up in there. You can tuck your loose yarn ends up into the hat itself. Now I'm going to decorate the hat. This is what the decoration looks like on her hat. And now I'm going to sew on her snowflake earrings with the sewing needle and thread. If you're going to put the earrings on, then you're just going to take your crochet hook and I'm using my G crochet hook and go into the side of the head into the stitch take your cream colored cotton yarn make sure you leave enough on the end for tying a knot and burying your loose yarn end and then chain one tie a knot Then you're going to make another chain. Now 
make two chains. That's going to count as your first half double crochet. Then you can make a half double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make a single crochet. And then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you're going to finish off. You're going to do that on both sides. Then you're just going to bury your loose yarn ends and then you have a place that you can sew the earring on. If you're going to use these snowflake buttons, make sure that you have a sewing needle, a tiny sewing needle, because the holes on these buttons are really tiny. So you need a really small sewing needle to fit right through that hole. And here's what she looks like with the earrings on. Now I'm going to show you how to make the Santa nose. You're going to use whatever color that you want for the nose, the Santa nose. And I'm using my G or 4 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to start with a magic circle. You're just going to drape the yarn across your four fingers. Use your thumb to stabilize. Then wrap the yarn around your two fingers twice and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then take your crochet hook, go under those loops around the middle finger, bring up a loop, then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Now we're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. Just bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through both for a single crochet. And then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. Then take your forefinger and your thumb and hold it at the base of the six single crochet and you have the two loops on the opposite side of the magic circle you're going to pull on one of them if it doesn't close then let go and pull on the other one gently and then pull on the loose yarn end now we're going to do one single crochet into every stitch for two rows You could use a yarn marker if you wanted, but I'm just keeping count. I'm on my fourth single crochet, fifth, sixth. Now I need one more round of just one single crochet into every stitch. This is my fourth, and then one more. Then you can take and turn your work inside out, and you can see how I have a large opening in the center of the magic circle, so I'm going to pull on the loose yarn end on the back, and that'll close it up nicely. Now you're going to do decrease stitches around three times. Just go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a decrease stitch. And 
Go ahead and tuck your loose yarn end into the center of the nose. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the excess. And I'm going to make another decrease. And one more. Then I'm going to go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and bring enough yarn through to sew the nose onto the Santa. The first thing I do is just sew the Santa nose on. And this is how I placed my Santa nose. And I sewed it so that it still has like a, a poofy nose. So I just go through the base of it when I'm sewing. And then just tie your knot on the other side. After you sew the nose on, then you want to place the eyes. And here you could see where I placed my eyes. Then once you have the eyes where you want them, then you just turn it over and place your safety latches. Yep, you have to put it on the right way. For the Santa mustache, I used my 100% cotton yarn, and I also used my J or 6 millimeter crochet hook. Just take your yarn and fold it over on itself to form a loop. Put your crochet hook through the loop and hold the base with your middle finger and your thumb. Then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through that loop for your slip knot. Now you're going to make a chain of six. One. Two, after you make a chain of six, you're going to chain one, then you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So you take your crochet hook, go into the second chain from the hook, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. In the next stitch, you're going to make a half double crochet. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. You're going to make a double crochet into the next stitch. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through two, two loops remaining on the hook, yarn over and go through two. Then you're going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch, yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. Then you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to finish off, just yarn over and bring enough yarn through to sew the mustache onto the Santa. You're going to need two of these. Go ahead and make two of these and then come back. For the Santa beard, we're going to make a slip knot, just like we did before. 
with the mustache. Then you're going to make a chain of 14. Make a chain of 14 and then come back. After you have a chain of 14, you're going to chain one. Then you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then you're going to skip two spaces. So skip two stitches. One, two. I'll show you again. You're going to skip two stitches. One stitch, two stitch. And then you're going to make a single crochet into the third stitch. So chain three, one, two, three, skip two stitches on the chain and make a single crochet into the third stitch. And you're going to do that all the way across to the end and then come back. This is how your work should look. I have one stitch left. I'm going to make a single crochet into that last stitch. Then you're going to chain one, turn your work, you're going to make a single crochet into that first chain three space. So take your crochet hook, go into that chain three space, bring up a loop, make a single crochet. Then you're going to yarn over, go into the same chain three space, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, two loops left on the hook, yarn over, go back in the chain three space, bring up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through three. Then chain one. And we're going to repeat that two more times. Yarn over, go into the chain three space, bring up a loop, now you have two of them, chain one and make one more in the same chain three space. You can see how I'm holding my work. Make it easier as I make the stitches. Then after you finish Go ahead and make a single crochet back into the same chain three space. Then you chain one and then single crochet into the next space and then you repeat all the way across. When you reach the end this is what your work should look like. Then you're going to take after your last single crochet, then you're going to finish off, just yarn over and bring enough yarn through to sew on the beard. And you're going to need two of these as well. Next you would sew the Santa's cheeks on, and this is where I placed the cheeks for mine. And the reason I placed them here is to give room for the mustache and the beard. Then you're going to sew on your mustache. I sewed mine right under the nose. I took my 
tapestry needle and went through the same space for both of my loose yarn ends. That way you have a little pointy end for the mustache. And also make sure when you sew it on that the pointy end is facing up. Then you can tie a knot on the back. Then you just want to sew this portion of the mustache because you want it to be able to move. And you're going to sew both sides the same. So you can see where I'm sewing it with my tapestry needle. And that's all I did for the mustache to sew that on and you do the same thing on the other side and then you just tie a knot on the back. Then you're going to take one of the pieces that we crocheted for the beard and place it onto the Santa head and I started the first end right near the side of the eye then you're going to want to scoot the chain three space close to the beard portion that we made, the little shell for the beard, and then push it up towards the cheek and just sew it in place. And before completely sewing it down, you're going to want to take the other loose yarn end and line it up level with where you had sewn before. on the other side that way both sides will be even then you can finish sewing it down You can see how I'm sewing the shell, but leaving the flaps loose. And I'm just sewing the base of the shell to the chain three space so that they're close together. Now you're going to line up your second row, and here I took my one loose yarn end and brought it just underneath the first row and then I also am lining up the other side so that it's just underneath then I'm going to sew the two ends <coughs> excuse me then I'm going to sew the bottom end in and leave the shell flapping For the second layer, I'm sewing it so that the chain three spaces are closer to the first layer, but the shells are lining up with the edge of the face. This is what my Santa mustache and beard look like, and you could see how I sewed it on, and then this is what it looks like on the other side. When you're sewing the back piece on to cover the back, make sure that you don't go through the beard and that you just sew along the edge of the head.